up the different ones. Where there's loads of stories. I pulled out this thing. It was only this week. It's only come out this week. I pulled it out of the newspaper. And I've yeah, still got it. I, brought, I said to I said Bill, um, Bill Gilchrist, as I came out of the house, I must bring this down to Dougie because he wanted it. I said, no, it's for Dougie. You know. And uh, well, it's blown there. Yeah. London by night is a wonderful sight. There is magic abroad in the air. I am often told that the streets turn to gold when the moon shines on circus and square deep in the dark that envelops the park there's romance in each cigarette That sparkle like tennis seems to wink as each girl and her ball. Up comes the moon when the city is Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> no comment. No
the Biggin Hill 60s and 70s reunion. For those of you who don't know me, I'm John Willis, and uh, along with Joe Merchant, I have to admit that I'm sort of kind of responsible for dragging you lot to Biggin Hill. And I know that some of you haven't been here for 20 or 30 years. And it's still as cold as it was. I can see you're pretty cold over there. It was only in late May, June that uh, I approached Joe with the idea of this reunion. He agreed and offered to host it at this club. And although we thought it would be probably fairly well attended, I, I really didn't dream that we'd have this number of people. It's, uh, it just shows that a lot of other people have got the same fond memories of this place as I have. And you know, the faces that I can see that I haven't seen, it's, it's magic. We've taken it from an idea in a bar to the event itself in just about three weeks. Four weeks, really, because it was uh, back in June that we had the idea and it didn't really get going until about, uh, I don't know, mid-August. And it's been a very challenging experience for me. It's very satisfying, I must admit. Uh, especially when uh, I've actually been successful in tracing so many of you that have been in hiding. Well, at least I assume you've been in hiding, certainly you've stayed out of touch. I've, um, I've probably used some quite dubious methods, I think, to uh, get hold of you. I'd like to um, thank some of our main sponsors, particularly uh, two of them. That's Adams Aviation, who celebrate their 30th anniversary at the airfield this year. Um, Gordon Franks, who, uh, well, I thought he'd retired a long time ago, but um, Gordon Franks, who apparently retires this year. Um, and they're paying for the, uh, the evening's entertainment, so thanks very much for that. I'd also like to thank all those who helped Joe and I organise the event, and in particular Bill Robinson and Grant Dempster, who kind of got roped into this and uh, spent a great deal of time when they probably got far better things to do. The inevitable bit about money is going to come into this. The event has, as you'll appreciate, cost a great deal of money, uh, several thousands in fact. I do hope you'll all show your appreciation by uh, donating to the reunion fund, and there are uh, tins available alongside the check-in area where where the girls are uh, issuing the badges and so on. For those of you who have already shown your support, thanks very much indeed. For those of you who have yet to do so, please give whatever you can. Uh, we're still looking for about another 2,000 or so pounds just to stand still. Um, let's say there's a checking, uh, the checking box, there's a collection box for you. You also have read, I hope, in your welcome packs about the special reunion tie, which a number of you have already bought. Uh, they've been designed and made specially for this event. They're priced at £10 each, and they can only be bought today. If we run out of stocks, then you can order them and pay for them, and they'll be satisfied within seven days. But after that, the, the uh, pattern or whatever it is that they do is actually going to be scrapped. So we hope to make it a kind of collector's piece. Just move on a little bit. Uh, general aviation is very different now from when it was in the relatively carefree days of the 60s and 70s. And the social life was certainly outstanding then. Uh, with, I think we had about 14 flying clubs and most of those had bars. And, uh, you know, there were some awful drunken times. And unfortunately, it's, it's not quite the same uh, as it was then. At the time, I don't think any of us truly appreciated what we did have, or the efforts that some people continue to see that, uh, you know, we were going to keep it going. I believe we all owe a tremendous vote of thanks to Jock Maitland and Roy Taylor, and all of those associated with the running of the airport in those early days. We may not always have agreed with the things that they did, or what they said, but without them, I personally don't believe that the airfield would have survived to this day. Thanks very much, Jock and Roy. <laughs> Obviously, with, that, with all the tracing work carried out, uh, we've still not been able to get in touch with everyone from the era. Uh, some that we've simply lost all track of. Others, of course, would love to have joined us today, but couldn't make it for one reason or another. In particular, we've received letters and emails of apologies from, uh, it's a fairly short list, but Ray Aveyard, Janet Baker, Chris and David Colbeck, Harry Croft, who was also extremely generous in the donation, David Gold, Jackie Gold, Ben Gould, John Harper, Bob King, Colin Middleness, Wendy Motley, who's down in New Zealand, Claire O'Connor, Rhys Perriton, who's in Brunei, John Richardson in Hong Kong, and Peter Sinclair, who was actually intending to come, but was called out by British Airways uh, yesterday, and I believe Ed Merton was as well. Tom Snow, Ralph Scott sends uh, the usual sort of uh, jerky facts, and uh, would love to have been with us, but is away at the moment. Derek White, and last of all, um, Steve and Debbie, who are regular visitors to the club. Uh, couldn't, couldn't make it, because I think they've uh, gone off on holiday or something. 
They've all sent their best wishes and they confirm that we think of their old friends on this special day. Now as you entered the reunion area through the bar, I'm sure that you saw a rather distressing list of names of people that had circumstances be different would probably have been here with us. One of the more unpleasant tasks associated with organising this reunion was actually trying to recall all the names of those people that were no longer with us. Our sincere apologies, if there are any that we've missed off, please feel free to add any names to the list, if we have. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to uh, stand for a moment if you're, you're sitting, raise your glasses and join me in a toast to those friends who are no longer with us. Ladies and gentlemen, to add some friends. That's it, thank you. Well, so all it is for me. Thank you all for coming, making this dream for me an absolutely wonderful affair. Have a great day and a wonderful evening. Thank you. Eddie Taylor. One more song before we take you to the 1960s and bring the big band sound up to date, ladies and gentlemen. And this is that old time hit, that great one from Glenn Miller, Adios, a foxtrot, if you will.
Cooper on the bass. The band, ladies and gentlemen, the String of Pearls Orchestra. Thank you very much. A little announcement there that we've managed to open in a bar for wine and beer uh, in the marquee here, which would save you going into the clubhouse if uh, that's your taste for booze. been wonderful and it isn't, hasn't ended yet. We're going to draw the raffle in a moment but first of all those who don't have the ties there's six left. Okay just six left. You can order them if we run out but however there's just six left. Please do all you can for us. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Now we'll have the raffle. Will somebody like to draw the first ticket for my lovely lady Valerie? Seven, nine, six, blue. Sorry about that, it's me again. I must like to sound my own voice. But um, Adam's Aviation um, uh, celebrating, as we said, their anniversary. They have a wonderful cake down here, right on the dance floor. And I'd like you to count them in so that we can really get it uh, nice on video. So uh, all together now, five, four,
and gentlemen, the Stringerfells Orchestra. Thank you. Let's hear it for Frank Nelson. Hip, hip. Hip, 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 hip. Now, one of Fra we, we, we talked the whole thing through. I mean, uh, a whole lot of organization has gone on before this event, ladies and gentlemen, but one of the major things that he asked for, and I went out and I bought this music. I actually, I actually spent a lot of money and it doesn't last very long. So I'm going to ask Frank to come up and conduct the band. And guess what he's going to do? Those magnificent men in the flying machines. Are you ready? Two, one, two, two, two. Oh, yeah. because that's what we're going to go out with. Glenn Miller, a one, two, three, four. We're in the mood.
thank you. Thank you very, very much for coming along this evening. Christmas Singapore's Eddie Taylor, Kay Willison, Alison Rose, the boys in the band. God bless you all. Thank you very much. John, we've got a few words from our sponsor. Well, it's not, I don't know about the sponsor, but uh, yeah, you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> Weren't they wonderful? They're absolutely magnificent. Thank you very much, guys. You're brilliant. You couldn't, could have asked for anything else. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Uh, it's, this has been unbelievable for us. I mean, it's, it's three months it took, and uh, all these faces that, that we've seen that I haven't seen maybe in some cases for 30 years. Bill, I'll just hand over to you because I don't know what to say now. I've, I've said it all. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for turning out. I, I just have to say that I feel very proud to be part of the uh, organising team for this event tonight. And uh, I hope you will also leave the building with a, a sense of pride that all these people came together from all the backgrounds and all congregated on tonight, mainly through the efforts of John Willis here, who I think you should give a big hand of applause to. I have to excuse my voice, it's rather hoarse, I've spoken to about 10 million people tonight. Uh, just one or two, but, <laughs> one or two very uh, quick thank yous to make is uh, Graham, who Civil Air gave us the permission to hold the event outside here this evening, so Graham, thank you very much for your uh, thank you on that. I had to secure my job tomorrow morning, so I'd like to thank the uh, regional airports for allowing the event to, to be staged, so I've done that now. I might have a job on Monday morning. But uh, it's been wonderful to see you. The event may be in the future staged again, but this is a fairly unique event. I'm very proud to be part of it. I hope you were proud to have been part of it as well. Thank you very much indeed. Have a safe journey home. Mr. Frank Gosling, we'd like to thank you very much. Would you like to say something before we all go home? Yeah, on behalf of everybody here, I'd like to thank Chris and the orchestra, which I consider to be absolutely magnificent, and your yeah. and Eddie here is better than Frank Sinatra. He certainly is now, anyway. That's a show. <laughs> and uh, on behalf of Adams Aviation, I'd like to thank everybody that came with us, and for everybody else who are friends and colleagues and supporters of Biggin Hill, uh, including old folks like um, Bill Webb, who is probably the oldest pilot in the country. He was here earlier on. Folks like that. It's, it's been a super evening for everybody. Uh, thank Joe Merchant and John Willis and the organiser team. It's been magnificent. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Austin, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this, this whole area, this whole building and uh, even the marquee perhaps is steeped in history. So uh, we'd like to go out now with a little thing we put together especially for this evening. Brace yourselves. Are you ready for this? RAF 1940s. God bless you. One, two, two, two. <laughs>